Okay, so we are all familiar with the basic states of matter, right? You have your solids, liquid, gas, and they can change from state to state in that order, right? Well, not all the time. As Patty Graziano, your favorite math and science tutor, explains the kinetic molecular theory. Hi, everyone. It's Patty, your favorite math and science tutor. And today, Jackie, we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, the kinetic molecular theory. What in the world is that? Basically, all it does is talks about states of matter. Okay. okay? It explains it. And I just think it's fun. Okay. We're just going to do this because this is fun science to look at. So let's and it's break cool. It down. All right. So, what your kinetic theory tells us is that the state of matter depends on how fast the molecules are moving. Okay. All right. So, in a solid, there is not much movement of the molecules. You cannot push your hand through it. They're close together, those molecules. All right, next we have a liquid. There is more energy in this. We know this because we can look at the temperature. Mm -hmm. And temperature is simply a measure of energy in a substance. So you can put your fingers in there and splash around. There's lots of ways and space you can move. You can spill, it's okay. <laughs> All right, the last phase of matter we're gonna talk about today is a gas. So here, there's a lot of energy going. I'm actually putting energy in using this hot plate. And you can easily move your hand through a gas. There's a lot of motion of the molecules and a lot of space between the molecules. I have here something that most of you probably know about. It's called dry ice, mm -hmm. but what it is is solid carbon dioxide. Now, it's so cold, it'll actually damage. Ooh. It's so cold, it'll damage your skin, so you don't want to touch this. So if I set that down, we can see, let's give it some energy, giving it some warmer water. We can see the gas coming off of that. And if we take a solid directly to a gas, we call that sublimation, Okay. right? And I'm sure everybody has played with that because you can seriously just stick it in a thing of water. It's taking energy yeah. from the water and look at all that. So that, my friends, is sublimation. Now, the opposite of that, you actually probably saw this a few months ago when those trees outside were really pretty white in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what that's called is deposition. It's when the gas, the water vapor in the air, hits those really cold trees and turns immediately to a solid. So you actually can see this on the outside of the bowl where there's frost. Okay, mm. or I always like to do this with a penny because I think it looks so beautiful. It's best to do this with a pre-1982 penny. There's a higher copper concentrate. And you can see the crystals forming, the ice crystals forming, straight from the water vapor just here in my kitchen. Okay, so now we need to be extra safe for this one. So I've brought you a pair of goggles. Right. Goggling it up. Gotta have the goggles. Super important. Safety is definitely key okay. with it. Now what we're gonna talk about is that every single substance has some type of temperature condition where it can be all three of those states of matter at once, okay. all at the same time. So we call that the triple point. So what I'm gonna do is I cut off the tip of one of these pipettes and filled it with that dry ice. I'm gonna block off any air coming out. So as we watch inside, we'll see the solid we'll see the liquid carbon dioxide, and then the gas will be expanding, so that's when we need to watch out. Fold that over, seal it up just with a pair of needle nose pliers, and stick it in. We're gonna watch it expand. Yep, we're seeing it expand, and we're seeing the liquid forming inside. There we go, we see the liquid, and ah! there we go. <laughs> Huh? Can you see that okay on the camera? Okay, good. And that's why science is fun. And sometimes while science is super interesting and one of my favorites, it's also just fun to do and fun to watch. And we've got to remember to stop and enjoy it. <laughs> Expanding upon things we already know about, solids, liquids, gases, but uh, yeah, kind of reminding you some wonderful things to kind of slow down and remember that nature and science can provide us. And friends, don't try that at home. <laughs> yes. Kids, always get your parents' permission to try anything like that in the kitchen. <laughs> Taylor has.